Hey guys, welcome back to Dino Demand. In this video, I'm going to try to get 20 days as Santa Claus on Dinosaur Simulator. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Let's get straight to the video. Enjoy. Day one, I spawned in the middle of nowhere. I tried reaching the main center land so I could find other dinosaurs and hopefully pack with them. I found this neat little cave which was going to be my safety spot if anything goes wrong. Later that day I found two albino terrors which were going to be massive threats, as well as these two massive sea creatures. Luckily I had that cave which could be my retreating spot if anything goes wrong. Day 2 I decided to make a pack called Dino Demand. In my previous video is Megavore, where I made a pack, it resulted in a massive problem with food shortages. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to watch that video or I can put it in the end screens of this video. Anyways, the pack was going to be purely for my safety, so I won't die, as this is a far weaker dinosaur than the Megavore. Later in day 2 I saw that albino terror that I previously mentioned, and he was attacking one of the sea creatures. I went out for a closer look to see what was happening. After making my pack in day 2, on day 3 I managed to actually find my pack, which was located just behind the main river. After reaching juvenile stage later in day 3, there was a massive threat that was coming towards our way. A giant albino berry. I thankfully got away, but sadly none of my pack did. And it was just till this moment where I thought I was safe after escaping the giant albino Barry, until this creature appeared. This creature is going to be the massive part of this video the turning point for the end. On day 4 that creature I mentioned previously was finding another one of its kind. And later that day, after my pack was murdered in day 3 by the giant albino Barry, I found one of the lost members who managed to survive just like me. Day 5 nothing really happened. After that 1v1 on day 4, there was one of this creature left in the server. And he decided to hunt down an albino terror as you can see. Nothing much happened on day 6, so I skipped it. However, on day 7, there was a new predator, the Solar Megavore. And this Megavore is really vital at the end of the video, as he chooses my fate. After reaching adult stage, I decided to man up and head to the center lake. As previously, I circled the entire lake, and I wanted to see if this solar megavore was truly a Koza. However, he was accompanied by a crocodile, and this crocodile seemed like he wanted to kill me, so I shied away from them at first. Oh, <laughs> 
this time around. It's through Rex. It was my first player kill. I don't know why he attacked me, but so far it seems peaceful till now. I realized the solar mega were on the crocodile were beginning to chase me. So I went on the high ground to make it more difficult for the crocodile to reach me. At the end of day 8, I saw this dinosaur was approaching me, and I thought this would be the end of my journey. However, he was actually nice. At day 8, I was in a Patasaurus who was hacking, who killed the albino terror that managed to fight away the Sisla. At day 10, that solar megavore who was assisted by the crocodile attempted to kill me. It seemed the crocodile had left him, however he still desired to kill me in every way possible. Nizel met this little dinosaur. Later in day 10, me and this small dinosaur met up with three T-Rexes, and we decided to form an alliance. Leading into day 11, one of our T-Rexes was getting attacked by this dinosaur, so we fought back and we killed him. On day 12, I met with this Apatosaurus, who was friendly and we became friends. However, the creature returned and I had to get revenge on him for all the people he had killed. I realized this was a massive mistake. On day 12, a solar megaphore, the one who tried killing me for the entire server, fell from a high terrain. As well, he was allied with another crocodile. But this wasn't just any crocodile. This was the biggest of them all. Me and the Apatosaurus decided to go around the bank of this lake, knowing that this crocodile was in the water and that the solar megaphone was somewhere with it. It was extremely tense when he went on land and we knew our boundaries and we made sure not to intervene. On day 13, he fought back. I got too close and I tried defending myself, but I realized he was too powerful 
too much health, too much damage, so I began to run away. My Apatosaurus friend joined me in trying to defend ourselves from this crocodile. We managed to walk up the high ground, however, it was too soon till his friend came. Out of nowhere, the solar megavore helped to join the crocodile. The megavore who always coasted everyone on the server, who always tried to attack me. And I knew I had to do something about it, but I was too weak. So I went up the high ground, however, it was too fast. I was left with two options, stay on the high ground or fall below where the crocodile can chase me. I was stuck, absolutely, from bottom to top, I couldn't do anything. But luckily, the megavore slipped off and I thought I was in luck. I had to run the opposite direction that they were, however I spoke too soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, smash that like button and I'll do more content on the survival series. I'm going to be working on the albino terror video as we smashed 5 likes on the Megavore one. Peace out boys.